Hey guys, how are you doing? Well, I actually filmed this the other day and for some reason, even though the record button was on, nothing came out. So I'm doing this a little bit different today, but um, this is the Revlon dryer and I'm gonna show you how it works. My hair is, I'd say about halfway dry, so I am gonna rough dry it a little bit uh, so that it won't be too hard to use. And sorry, I've had a sore throat the last couple of days, so if you see me swallowing or it does kind of hurt, I don't know if I sound funny. In the lighting, this time of day is different from the other day I did earlier in the morning and now I have this light so I've had to keep changing the settings on the computer. I hate a lot of disclaimers in the beginning but since I already filmed this I feel like I have to put that out there so if it looks crazy. So let's go ahead and get started. One thing I wanted to point out for this this is a con and I'll kind of talk about the pros and cons. Um, it has you know the on, uh, the cool, the low, the high but you, instead of like having a button here, which is great so that you don't turn it off while you're using it, you have to twist this. So it's kind of difficult when you're trying to do something and you, like if I'm holding a piece of hair and I wanna turn it back on, it's a little bit difficult. I'm gonna literally just use this how I would so you'll see if I have any struggles or not. And let me point out right now how loud this is. This is definitely a con. To me, it sounds like old school, like one-sided, these brushes you used in the 80s. My dad had one, I remember. But listen to this, this is gonna be on high. <laughs> Crazy, right? And it was funny because I could already feel this getting hot. So I am actually gonna separate my hair because that's what I do whether I dry it or not, no matter what I am using. And I've used this actually both ways. I've used it when my hair is almost dry, um, because it will get, as you can see, the more my hair air dries, this is the texture of it. So very wavy, um, I don't know, I don't like it. But <laughs> And then if it's more wet, obviously, but it is still wet, definitely really back here and all in the back.
again, I am drying my hair just like I would if I was using a round brush. My hair's a lot longer with this style now, but I've always taken this front section. You guys asked me how, like, how I get that swoop. This is it. So this is literally just drying it. Haven't put in anything. And this is literally how I fix my hair. So this is kind of like a uh, Crystal's Hairstyle 101. <laughs> so I take it about halfway in my hair because I don't like to have a huge part. And I comb it straight back. And, and then I kind of just fluff it, take my hands and wherever it kind of lies, that's where I spray it and I'll come back later. Cause I have a big calic right there that I always need to make sure is uh And that's the, then that's how I get that, sorry for the lighting. That's how I get that this way too. I feel like I can kind of get the same look when I use the in styler though. And, uh, and just a regular brush. So you guys always ask, how do I get this part to lay like that? I brush all of it forward and then I spray up underneath of it. And I kind of then just, see like if there's a little hole there or whatever, I kind of, um, you know, just guide it over this way. And then, you know, you have to play with it a little. And my hair is very fine. I have a lot of flyaways. So I have to use a decent amount of hairspray. This is my favorite, the Kenra 25. Ugh, I feel like I'm eating it now. Um, so that my hair doesn't move a lot because it will. So again, this is nice, but I could get the same hairstyle. I mean, I feel like my hair looks like this, not using it. It is quick. All right, let me check the back real quick. Always check the back of your hair, ladies. <laughs> I see so many people don't. And I just literally take this comb and kind of make sure there's not anything crazy. You know, and you could smooth out the ends and stuff, but that's pretty much it. Okay, I had written some pros and cons the other day. Um, just my first initial impressions as I was using. My first impression was it reminded me of the cheap 80s dryers that I showed you. The sound especially. Like it just really surprises me that that is no different. Um, I do like that the brush is all the way around. It is pretty easy to use. There is a lot of my hair in here. This is cool to the touch, which is great. This, I don't love. I understand why it's probably there, but that twisting you saw, sometimes it's not that convenient. I would rather there be a button somewhere here that I can just turn it off and on really easy. When I first used it, pieces of this black brush, there's two different kind of bristles in here, Pieces of that black brush I noticed were like falling off on the counter, which then made me think, are they in my hair? So I've not noticed that the more times I've used it, but at first it was like they were breaking off. I don't know if they just got hot or, you know, that initial use. Be careful because it can burn your hair. It gets very hot. There were a couple of times, I don't know if you noticed, like as I'm smoothing it or rough drying it first, it will be hot when you go back to touch that piece of hair. It dries on high very quickly. It kind of concerns me for somebody like me with um, fine hair. You could damage your hair quickly. Now, I don't notice it today, but the first couple of times I noticed it, I definitely had a lot more little flyaways sticking up and almost like damage, like broken pieces of hair. Not, not saying I didn't have that already. I'm sure I do. I bleach my hair, but I never noticed that many of them. So just be careful around, like that's why you don't see me, even though I'm kind of frizzy and have thin hair, you don't see me taking a lot of time on that area because it's already fragile and thin and I don't need to break it. So, I mean, definitely pros, it's pretty quick, even from like pretty wet hair. And I would still suggest, like you saw me, I would rough dry it. Go over it a couple times rough drying it so you can get a lot of that you know, really wetness out of it because you know, it smooths pretty good, which I like. Again, it makes it pretty quick. So this to me is good for one of those, say, always like on Sunday morning. I try to 
have my hair washing schedule so I do not have to wash dry it on Sunday morning for going to church. You ladies out there know what I'm talking about. It's a struggle sometimes, especially if I don't know what I'm gonna wear. So I will try to make sure I don't wash my hair that day. Um, but I just did this this past Sunday. It was like, okay, I'm going to wash and dry my hair. And this would be great if you need to do that and it's still somewhat styled in a hurry. So that is great. I still love my end styler and I like using it because I can get my hair like pretty, pretty smooth. And I could have, you know, done some more, like you can see this one has a little more bend to it on this side. I could have done a little more to that if I really wanted to keep doing, you know, twists and bends on the end. But again, it's pretty hot. I have fine hair, I have blonde hair. I don't want to damage my hair. It does give decent volume. That's the biggest thing probably everybody wants to know. It does give decent volume, but I can get the same volume, maybe even more with a really good round brush. So for instance, like this is the one I use. So you can see, I mean, it's pretty big and I can get, actually I can probably get better volume here on the crown of my head using this than I can this. But on the sides and stuff, I mean, I really like, it. I'm not doing anything different. So I do like it. Um, you can get it a couple of different places. I will definitely list them below. If you guys have this, let me know what you think of it. I would love to know. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.